look at those uh, users of uh, classic uh, cloud foundry um, uh, there could be uh, technological challenges there could be people challenges because there is a shortage of supply and demand of folks that who do know about these technologies and third is the pricing challenge as well as you said the pricing models are changing so which of these challenges are the really you know uh, not deal breaker but in the sense you know they're really big challenges that you feel that that's where folks need help or these are all important and how is any nice helping them well the thing is that informed decisions uh, when building a platform for particular organizations requires you know monitoring a lot of different technologies and also know the own organization very well and then combine the two so what we help is being a mediator between the technology and the organization and we help clients with um, best practices to find you know their tailored platforms um, solution um, just to give you one example um, if you build a platform, one of the strategic decisions any organization has to make is um, to decide how much infrastructure uh, vendor lock-in they want to accept. Um, for example, you know you can get a Kubernetes cluster from every infrastructure uh, these days. However, if you let's say tie all your uh, Kubernetes cluster lifecycle management to a particular API. So you have an organization, you know that you're going to have 100 or 200 or 500 Kubernetes clusters over the next year, over the next years. You also have to think about how do you organize the lifecycle management? So you're then looking for tools that will allow you to declaratively describe such a cluster, including its workloads and extensions you may want to install um, and make that happen for the engineers you know, in charge of that. So how do you do that? Uh, without tying into the infrastructure APIs too much. I mean, in, in the client base we have, it's been a, re a repetitive um, issue that managers have been very, very certain that they will go with that one particular infrastructure provider. And within the time range of two to three years, nearly all of them had to move at least to adopt additional infrastructure providers because customers wanted so, or because uh, for legal reasons, expanding into, let's say, uh, other, other territories. And that means you need to be open for that step. So, and, and then the, the challenge is, how do, you, how do you, you know, take from the infrastructure provider what gives or, or helps you to generate value as quickly as possible while maintaining that healthy balance to be able to adopt additional or maybe even migrate to different infrastructure vendors for costs or legal reasons. That's one of the, of the key challenges in, in building platforms. If you make a mistake there, accept too much of a vendor login, uh, the costs in the midterm are way beyond imagination.